We knew this was going to happen, didn't we? Because we spoke to someone familiar with the matter. So not a big surprise to us at Bloomberg. No, it's not a surprise for us, maybe for, for some competitors. Uh, what is interesting is that now Marchion has full responsibility uh, on uh, Ferrari. He uh, orchestrated the uh, spin-off uh, from Fiat Chrysler, the IPO, and now he has to find a way to boost profit at Ferrari. He started today as a CEO, and his first move was to uh, revise upward the guidance. When Ferrari uh, gave the guidance in February, analysts and investors uh, didn't like it too much, was very cautious. Uh, now the guidance was revised upwards after uh, results and profit rose more than 10% in the first quarter. So a good quarter for Ferrari, and yes, another job for Sergio. So will he make money on things like merchandise? I mean, it's, it, it does seem pretty paltry compared to cars. Does he not need to just sell more cars? So uh, even in today's statement, they said that, that they are revising their strategy to uh, expand the brand into the luxury goods sector. What we have understood is that uh, on one side, that they will uh, boost uh, their merchandising for the Formula One activities, the Scuderia team. On the other side, they will try to make luxury goods pro uh, products uh, with the same exclusivity as uh, they have in cars. So uh, you won't uh, uh, see any more probably uh, some uh, uh, Ferrari jersey or some Ferrari sweaters, but we may see some one-off products uh, in uh, in, uh, in uh, different areas. Uh, they haven't specified it yet. Next year, we, they will unveil uh, the strategy. In Marchione, as uh, as uh, we spoke with Marchione even today, and he, he repeated, "Give us another year, and we'll show you how we're going to expand the brand." Tommaso, thanks a lot. Bloomberg's Tommaso Airport there in Milan.